Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna go through a new software that uh, I have tried today. So I just finished a photo shoot uh, today, and uh, I got some photo when I was uh, editing. I realized that some of the photo that got uh, motion blur, uh, which is uh, very often if I use a long uh, zoom lens because. Uh, uh, this one was on the A7 IV body, uh, the stabilization for the internal stabilization for A7 IV is not as good. Uh, but um, so if you usually have some motion blur if the shutter speed is not fast enough. Um, so I try, I try this uh, Sharpen AI from uh, Topaz uh, company. And the first time I heard of this one, it was uh, from the b &H, uh, event space from uh, Kelby one and he mentioned about it uh, so uh, I think last month I heard about it and then right now I tried it it's pretty good uh, first uh, of all uh, the eyes uh, got recovered uh, for the motion blur uh, the interesting thing uh, is that you can select a uh, different kind of uh, uh, sharpened AI model for this one or you can uh, choose a different lay, uh, percentage from here uh, as you can see that uh, you can choose like okay if you don't want too sharp you can just uh, slightly uh, slide down the sharpness into like uh, 40 percent or 50 percent and you can see that here is the motion blur regenerating uh, after it regenerated it gives you the result the left side is the original photo the right hand side is the after result and uh, you can suppress the noise uh, after the uh, um, the update and you can suppress uh, more noise if you need it and then after you uh, click that and it has that um, the pro progress uh, bar in the bottom so uh, overall my first impression is pretty good uh, it recovered the uh, most important part of the focus area, the eyes, uh, is uh, very sharp and um, overall the color, it didn't change the color, the color is still the same so it's good that it doesn't add additional like, uh, change of color but because uh, this one software uh, is uh, just uh, in charge of just the sharpness uh, so I'm expecting just changing of the sharpness uh, right now and um, or when you when you install the software it uh, say automatically use the recommended model for this image uh, usually it start with the standard and if you don't want it uh, it, it will uh, change uh, you can change uh, manually to different uh, AI model so by default it's the standard one uh, you can you can uh, do the same like uh, bar to update uh, this one also like the standard one um, I I chose the normal one so that I can um, choose the uh, blur percentage and the suppressed noise so this is how I choose the other one but uh, the other one is uh, some of them are our focus uh, style so they are they are different model uh, that you can use uh, it depends uh, what uh, what kind of blur uh, that you got sometimes if you have out of focus uh, area like the eyes are not in focus you can choose the out of focus normal but I think because of the motion blur the pixel shifting are different so that's why uh, you have to specify what kind of uh, AI model that you use so to, to make sure it applies to certain situation for that uh, so uh, I went to the main website and then um, I just uh, download the trial version just to test it out like I, I put the link in the description below I just test it out the trial version the trial version has the um, the trial version has the watermark in it but you can still see the sharpness so um, that's why I tried it first before I buy it uh, I think the price uh, right now on the website is uh, $79 so it's a one-time fee but it's pretty good uh, if you feel uh, there's a need to uh, update the photo sharpness just in case in the future so this will be a really nice tool for long term uh, because it's a one-time fee uh, it's not a subscription model you just bought it uh, and then just signed in uh, in the software um, so that's pretty good uh, yeah just want to share my quick thought on this one 
uh, it is pretty flexible and then you can choose a different kind of mo uh, AI model for different uh, editing. So once once uh, you can you can do it on the original item and then uh, uh, make sure it's sharp first and then then you can start doing some retouching uh, after that. Uh, so so this can be a, a first step of the workflow uh, if you found certain image that are uh, motion uh, blurred uh, affected. Uh, so you can recover those photo first as a step one of the workflow uh, for your photography. Yep, uh, just want to share my uh, quick thought on this software. Uh, yeah, uh, I will use it more just in case uh, certain photos uh, uh, have some uh, shaky hand uh, motion blur. Uh, sometimes I have some shaky hand photos. Uh, now, now with this software, I can do the recovery. Yep, uh, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up. Bye.